What is up guys, Thaddeus here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I actually made over $60,000 in seven days. One week, okay? I'm um, actually gonna screen share like right now um, just to show you guys proof and everything like that and then we can begin talking about you know how I actually uh, generated these results with you know Shopify dropshipping, okay? So we're gonna have a screen share right now. All right guys, so as you can see, um, right here it says $62,741.76 between the 23rd and the 30th, right? So that is that that is seven days or a week, okay? I'm gonna refresh it for you guys as well. Um, just, I don't know, to show you guys because they're skeptics as always, all right? And then as you guys can see, uh, on the 23rd we made $7,000, on the 24th there was 8,000, on the 25th, 10,000, on the 26th, 8,000, uh, or almost 9,000 actually. Um, on the 27th, $7,000, on the 28th, uh, just over 8,000, on the 29th, 6,000 and then on the 30th 6,000 guys, okay? Um, and I mean this you can see you know all the other stats as well like our conversion rate the average order value total number of orders all that kind of stuff, but You know what did we actually do to get these kind of results right with with drop shipping? Okay, and The basis of it right well what attributed most of this guys is Facebook ads um, We did not start off with Facebook ads. So, okay that like to be clear um, That is a method that some people do and some people you know advocate for is hey you, you know jump right into Facebook ads test multiple different products lose money testing those different products or different you know um, conversions campaigns different objectives um, To kind of see what what kicks what doesn't and then kind of dump a lot of money into what works and then cut the ones that don't work Right that, that that's a that's a fair method. Okay, but personally what we did and what we did for these stores right is again with the fun and everything that I teach here at the Ecom Hub and you know with all the free mini courses down below and just everything like that Instagram influencers okay that's how we start with everything okay that, that's that's just a cycle that works for me it works really really well for me so that's what I try and teach you guys because it just works okay it's a continuous cycle that you can continually get results from consistently if, if, if you know what you're doing okay and how that funnel works again guys is Instagram influencers you source good influencers that have legitimate followings legitimate presence Okay, you work with them to get shout outs you know story ads um, posts like on their feed um, anything like that and then have that traffic drive to your Instagram page for your store Okay, and then from there you drive into your website and get them to convert and while that's happening right? you have your Facebook pixel that's actually Recording um, all you know all the data reporting on the data the demographics who's adding to cart who's purchasing what pages are being viewed the most Okay, um, what age demographic is actually visiting your site the most what age demographic is purchasing? Uh, locations are purchasing from like all that information right the Facebook pixel is, is collecting all of it all right and What you do afterwards right after you've kind of um, Populated that Facebook pixel is you begin scaling and testing those pages, those Facebook ads with the data that you already collected Okay, so you're not kind of jumping into Facebook, you know to like with, with with you know both feet in the water and then just like sinking and hoping to like climb your way back up right um, you're using information that you've already collected from these Instagram influencers okay from this data from the orders you've received and then moving it to kind of Facebook and letting Facebook go okay Facebook these are the people that I know purchase my product these are people that I know are interested in my product go find more okay that's basically like that's, that's in the simplest form that's what you're doing with Facebook ads right with these different objectives I'm gonna let you guys know that for this particular store add to cart objectives actually had the most conversions um, compared to the other ones like instead of just traffic or exposure or actual conversions um, add to cards and purchasing um, for the add to cart objective actually worked the most for us um, which is the most beneficial okay so that's Little tidbit of nugget for you guys, but basically, you guys, that's that's the, really like the the funnel and what we did to actually get these results, right? It's we start with Instagram influencers, okay? I'm gonna repeat this again because it's super super important. A lot of people don't understand that it takes patience and experimentation, all that kind of stuff. And there's a bunch of these little small things that play into it, okay? So Instagram influencers, you're sourcing influencers, right? That's the first step. You need to find good influencers, okay? You can't just go with any influencers, right? I talk about this in the Instagram mini course, right, down below, which I suggest you guys check out as well. But literally, I talk about, hey, you you know, there, there's this market of drop shippers and then this market of influencers that want drop shippers money for shout outs on Instagram, okay? And there's a whole market behind that and there's people trying to take your money um, that, you know, prey on these inexperienced drop shippers that just want, you know, exposure for their products. And that's something to be very, very aware of because it's, it's a true thing and it's happening, okay? So again, you gotta source proper influencers with proper followings, okay? That's the step one. Then your actual shout out or what you're using to get, you know, attention, peak curiosity, provoke an emotion in your, in your you know, potential client is content okay content is king in this world i preached in my last video and all my videos okay unique content will get you sales promise okay so if you guys can actually get your own photos or you know have photography friends that are really really good at photos okay and then allowing them to kind of use their skill to you know take really really good product photography for your site okay for your website 
as well for your ads, for your paid ads, for your shout outs, all that kind of stuff for your Facebook feed. That's very, very vital in just building a brand, building you know, an authentic actual brand that like piques customer interest and you know puts you away from this typical dropshipper kind of vibe that most people are you know stuck in. Right? That's why a lot of you guys don't get sales is because everyone kind of knows, oh, they're just a reseller, right? Or oh I know I can find this product elsewhere for you know 10 bucks cheaper. Okay. But if you position yourself as a completely unique kind of brand and vibe with your own product images, it, it makes it look like it's it's yours, right? It's your brand's people buy from people okay so if you can project that onto your products through this content and you guys are set then you can really really convert on this on the on these sales right and that, that's how you get more traffic to your stores in the initial like beginning stages of you know building that Facebook pixel is you have good content right that shout out that you use on Instagram that gets the curiosity okay now they're looking at the caption right the picture makes them look at the caption. The caption, you know, you have your two CTAs, um, your description of the product, maybe a discount, depends on how you're leveraging your brand, are you luxury, are you, you know, affordable goods, etc. cetera, um, stuff like that. But then that drives them to your Instagram page. From your Instagram page, right, the content, again, looks good. If it, it, like, cause they already piqued their curiosity if they're looking at your Instagram page, but then if the content looks good and everything like that, then it kind of confirms it. Then they go to your website, okay? Then your website has all these different apps and widgets and blah, blah, blah installed, which again, guys, like I list everything in the description, so. There's that, or that you can literally hop in the free web design mini course link in the description. Always like you guys know, you guys know I gotta do it. But, but guys, you have all these different widgets in your store. You have all these different apps that help convert or help build customer trust or customer loyalty, um, or just collect data with emails and stuff like that, so you can retarget down the road. But all this kind of stuff to help collect data so that the people visiting your site don't just leave. Right? It's like having someone go in and then out right away, and you never see them again. You don't want that. You want to have at least some form of like trail to at least follow them, and they kind of like reel them back in eventually at some point. All right, so that's that's that, like, the gist of it, right? And then from that Instagram store, right, where you're getting the traffic, it goes to your website, and again, you have these widgets and apps installed to help convert on your site, right, with your Facebook pixel installed. Then you can kind of go into Facebook and start tweaking with paid ads and experimenting, you know, with different budgets and whatnot, guys. And again, depending on your budget, there's lots of different ways to go with this. Um, some people say, oh, yeah, you know, you just start, you know, um, five dollar um, budgets daily per objective, and you know, have five running which is what I what personally I think you guys should do if you don't have the biggest budget okay but if you are willing to you know um, for one if you want to you know, go quicker right because five dollars a day for five days that's like almost a week right and you're kind of waiting to see those results with not a lot of ad spend so it's kind of hard to actually gauge you know what's what but if you guys want really, really fast results then I suggest you do two days okay like so the actual campaign lasts two days but you're spending two hundred dollars a day Per objective okay that's again if you have a bigger budget but also like that'll reveal you like what's working a lot quicker and then hey if it's working well then you just dump a lot more money in okay assuming you know if you can do the $200 a day for the budget and whatnot then I'm assuming you can have more money to actually pump into once you realize which one kicks which ones don't all right so that's that's another quick strategy guys and again for this store the add to cart objective really really worked well for that I like I'm literally telling you guys what worked for the store and the screen share is still recording even though I haven't really moved much on this but that's that's the video guys I hope you guys enjoy leave a like comment um, I respond to everybody's comments don't forget to subscribe as well um, literally I'm doing a video a day guys and I'm hoping to like give you guys crazy crazy value so that you can be like oh wow like it's actually doable guys I'm 20 okay and I just turned 20 okay I bought a supercar drop shipping I got you know this this penthouse that I'm living in right now which is just an office which is just white right now you don't see that but I'm upstairs and just like everything that I'm able to do is through dropshipping that's why I teach dropshipping that's why I kind of help you guys out with dropshipping okay and so that's that's what this video is for and I'm literally telling you guys the objective that worked best for this store okay kind of how to build up that pixel and then kind of what to do afterwards okay like you guys have the information now to actually go ahead and do that okay now if you want more like in-depth just more information in general to kind of get your feet right, like hit the ball rolling and just like actually nearly guarantee results just because you actually have like a foolproof of blueprint essentially, right? Then there are the free mini courses down in the Ecom Hub, guys. Link is in the description. And there is the Shopify Mastery course, guys. That's me and a few other people putting our insight in literally every single thing. Right? So we go in depth on Instagram info, just in depth on website creation, in depth on you know branding, marketing, Facebook ads. Are you manually bidding? Like what are you doing actually to to kind of leverage your store and actually get these results, right? So that's the video guys. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm back from LA. Um if you guys saw yesterday's video, but <laughs> take care guys, peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.